Well, our next guest certainly knows the power of the Chinese market. And beyond that, he's also considered a leading expert on London's luxury property market. Niccolò Baratieri di San Pietro is the CEO of acclaimed property developer, North Acre. Niccolò, thanks for being with us. Hi, Jim, how are you? I want to talk more broadly in a moment, but just quickly, Chinese purchasers, do you feel they're still interested in buying property in the UK? I think still is, is, is not the word that I would have used in a certain way, in the sense that actually they are one of the latest waves in a certain way of foreign buyers that have come to this market. I think their, their buying patterns have been actually very interesting in the last few years because we can extrapolate two things. The first is that they've actually moved from the mid-market to the luxury side as well, which everyone was skeptical on that. They thought that they would really be concentrating in places like Canary Wharf or not exactly prime central London. Um, but our latest scheme actually has shown that they are now looking at prime central London at the more high-end space very closely. And secondly is that they recognize the value that this market uh, is, is giving us at the moment. And uh, as we all know, we have been in, in, a, in a market that has been correcting for the last four, four and a half years. And, and it's interesting, they're the ones that actually are realizing the value of this. They're realizing that the weaker pound is giving them an opportunity. And they've been very active. So Chinese buyers aside, if we talk about property in general, what do you feel makes um, a, a luxury property or, or a property luxurious? Um, first of all, I think that it's, it's, uh, the developer needs to understand their, their end customers, right? And it sounds like a very basic concept, but you would be surprised how many proper properties are conceived without actually keeping the end user in mind. So you truly have to understand the high-end buyer. The high-end buyer is, is, is a complex individual uh, and, uh, and has very clear ideas of what he wants and what he doesn't want. That's the first point. The second one is that actually you have to sell much more than the four walls, right? You've got to sell them a lifestyle. And, and how do you convey this lifestyle when you actually still don't have the apartment finished and so on is, is where you start mixing the more technical aspect of putting an apartment together to a bit more of an art in conveying what lifestyle is going to be all about and, and hence them realizing that this is actually the perfect property for them. And so, and, and in saying that, Northacre is behind a really exciting new development here in London, the Broadway. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, it, is, it is in the heart of Westminster. It is a, a mixed-use scheme, predominantly on the residential, uh, from a residential aspect. It's got 258 uh, apartments with incredible views. It is surrounded by four world UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So it's really at the heart of what London is all about. Um, and um, I think it's going to you know, regenerate even more that area. Uh, and you're, you know, you're between Parliament and Buckingham Palace, a stone throws away from Mayfair. It's one of the most fantastic locations that, that we could have picked. So we got lucky when we bought it. And so you would say that location still is very much part of that decision process? Yes, I mean, definitely. I mean, location is, is central to, to real estate in general, but I would have to say that now there are many more aspects that come into play, right? Mm -hmm. And so it is, what quality apartment are you delivering? Are you delivering the lifestyle? Is it really catering to the audience that you think you're catering to? And I think that if, you, if you've got those points nailed down, plus you've got a great location like the Broadway, for example, I think you've, you've got something special, and something special always does well. Thanks so much for joining us, Nicolo. Thank you very much, Emma.